Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Danielle with Dan Fancy Creations. And before we get started on our tutorial today, I did want to give a huge welcome to all of my new followers. My channel has grown so much over these past few months and I appreciate all of you guys tuning in just to see what I have to share each week. Um, with the growth of my channel, I have noticed that some comments may not be getting answered as quickly as I have been able to answer them in the past. So I did want to point out to you guys, in case you did not know, that I do have a tutorial group on Facebook and I do have a patron group. Both of those groups are great to utilize if you ever have questions about certain things or if I'm not able to answer a question um, as quickly as you would like. Facebook is usually the easiest way to get your questions answered and both of my groups have great ladies in it and all of them have always been so helpful. So if you are not a member in those groups, go check them out and see if that is something that would interest you. So on to our tutorial for today. Today's tutorial, I'm going to be doing two tumblers. They are both beach sunset themed, but they are created two different ways. One of the tumblers, I am going to be using multiple different colored glitters, and the other tumbler is just going to be one glitter color. So both of these tumblers are going to be spray painted the exact same colors. They are just, um, finished with different glitters basically. So I decided to do it this way so you could see the difference in using multiple glitters versus one glitter. I personally like how they both turned out. So you guys can take this tutorial and kind of see which way you like best and go from there. So if you guys are ready to see how I create these two fun beach sunset tumblers, let's get started. Alright guys, so to start out, we are going to base coat both of our cups with a matte white spray and then we are going to spray our neon colors. So the first one I'm using is fluorescent yellow and we are just going to spray that along the top. The next one is going to be fluorescent pink and we're going to overlap the yellow slightly so that when the yellow and pink mix, it creates a bright orange color. So that way we are not spraying several different colors of spray paint when we can get the same look by just overlapping a few colors. And it was a little bit windy today, so I did have to go back and touch up some of the spray paint. Typically on a really calm day, I can just get everything sprayed with one go around. So you guys can kind of see in the video that that orange color is starting to come out when we overlapped the yellow with the pink. And then I'm just going to go back in and spray some more of that yellow just to tone down some of that hot pink. And I did not have a neon blue, so we're just going to use Seaside. It's kind of a bright teal color. And again, we are just going to overlap the pink with it. And wherever the pink and blue meet is going to create purple. And I personally was not too concerned with keeping the sections of color even or perfectly straight because that's not how an actual sunset would look. So I kind of like the more organic feel of however the paint falls. And for the bottom, I typically use a copper color, but 
my copper was not working. I totally ran out. So I just picked another metallic color. Um, I am going to use a separate color for my sand for both cups. So the underlying color is not going to make that much of a difference. As long as it's similar to what we're going to be using. So I will just spritz the bottom a little bit. And then if you need to go back and touch up any of your colors, you can definitely do that. I did end up spraying some more blue on there just to give it that color. And now we are going to do our second cup. The second one we are using will be a 30 ounce skinny. So we do have a little bit more room to work with on this cup. And we are going to spray the same colors, the fluorescent yellow, the fluorescent pink. And I am bringing this pink down a little bit more just because we have a larger canvas to work with. And then we're going to bring our blue back in, overlapping the previous color slightly just to get that color. And if you have not used fluorescent colors before, this is why I always base coat my cups white because if you tried spraying these fluorescent colors on a stainless base, they would not look this bright at all. So now that our spray paint has dried, we are ready to apply our glitter. I am just mixing up some epoxy and we are going to apply it to our cups. This is way too much epoxy for two cups, but I was filming several tutorials this go around, so I just mixed up a big cup of epoxy. Typically, you would only need um, about 10 milliliters per cup if you're going to use the epoxy method. I prefer to use more epoxy than several people do. I know a lot of people only use five milliliters, but I like the look of my glitter being soaked up by the epoxy and not just sitting on top of the epoxy. There are different looks you can get based on how much epoxy you use or how you actually apply your glitter. So I am just applying my epoxy from top to bottom and then I will go back and smooth it out from bottom to top. This is just so my ripples or little waves are smoothed out to begin with. Definitely coat your bottoms really well, but I only use a little bit of epoxy for my bottoms because I don't want any bulges or drips or anything like that to form on the bottom of my cups, making them sit unevenly. And once all of our epoxy is applied, we will hit it with our torch to pop all of our bubbles. If you do not have a large torch, I do recommend getting one. It really helps eliminate a lot of bubbles. I typically move my torch quickly around my cup for one rotation. And then we will be ready to apply our glitter. So for these tumblers, I decided to use the one glitter or the cheat glitter for the smaller tumbler because we had a smaller canvas to work with. And for the sand, I am going to use Mimosa from the Drunk Flamingo. 
it's just a pretty dark champagne color. I use it for all my leopard print tumblers and things like that. I do apply most of my glitter with a tea strainer. I purchased this at Walmart years ago. I cannot find it online, but um, Amazon does have some great choices. If you want to grab a tea strainer and try to apply your glitter that way, it's great for ombres. So I will first coat my bottoms by just tossing some glitter up there. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other tumbler. Since the sand is going to be the same color, we're just going to do it all at once. And then we will fill our tea strainer again, and we are just going to tap this tea strainer along the bottom rim of the tumbler. So this way we are getting full coverage, but it's not a ton of glitter that is coming out and covering the cup. Everything is laying really flat. And we repeat the exact same thing with the second cup. I do bring this glitter up a little bit higher since this is a larger cup. I want the sand to look proportionate to the rest of the colors. And now for the single colored cup, we are going to be using Coconut Snowball Martini from the Drunk Flamingo. It is my go-to glitter when I want to cover a multicolored base or just a really pretty white glitter. It's one of my favorites that I have. And again, we're using the tea strainer. And I am just going to tap it on the tumbler. I know my hand is in the way. I'm sorry, you guys. But I hold it mm, probably three inches away from the cup and we're just tapping it on the tumbler. And I do bring this glitter color down over the sand color. So we still get that same gradient effect that we are going for with the rest of the tumbler. And the reason I like using the single color glitter is because it really blends everything really nicely and just gives it a really fun cool look. So I am going to go back and add a little bit of Americano to my sand. I typically use Americano for most of my beach cups. It's a really pretty champagne color that also has some opal thrown in it. So it helps add some sparkle 
and you guys can see that it really helped kind of blend that line in. Americano is from Peachy Olive Glitter. So now we are going to move on to the second cup with the multiple different colors. And we are going to apply these colors with a tea strainer as well. Again, this just really helps with the gradient. So for the first color, we're going to be using St. Jude from Peachy Olive. It is a really pretty yellow. And we are just going to sprinkle that right on top of the yellow on our tumbler. And I will bring it down slightly into the pink or the orange, I guess, <laughs> where those two colors meet. And we are going to add some orange glitter. It's Orange Julius, also from Peachy Olive. And we are going to sprinkle this right in between the pink and yellow. And we are going to overlap the yellow glitter and the pink spray paint just slightly. I am just tapping my strainer and letting a little bit fall out. You don't need a ton, you just need it to cover the spray paint. And then for the pink color, we are going to be using Prickly Pear Margarita from the Drunk Flamingo. And again, we are tapping it right on that pink spray paint, overlapping the orange glitter and the purple section slightly. And again, this is why I use a little bit more epoxy than some people might for the epoxy method so that the glitter is soaked up by the epoxy, making that glitter tacky so that when we apply our next glitter color it will stick to the glitter barney is the purple we are going to be using from pg olive and to touch on the epoxy again if the glitter does not get soaked up by the epoxy then that top glitter layer will not be tacky and your next glitter color will not stick to it So again, we are just sprinkling this on the purple spray paint area, overlapping the pink slightly and overlapping the blue slightly. And for the blue, we are going to be using Bejeweled, also by Peachy Olive. And we are going to sprinkle this right on the blue spray paint area, overlapping the purple glitter and the champagne glitter slightly. And then we are going to take Americano again and sprinkle it right on top of our champagne glitter that we had before. 
just to help blend that wine and add a little bit more sparkle. So once that layer of epoxy has cured, we are going to take another layer of clear epoxy and apply it on top of our glitter. I personally do not brush this glitter off or spray seal it. Um, I've never had an issue with colors or glitter shifting unless it is chunky glitter, then I will take a dry brush and brush it off. But all of my glitter is pretty well adhered to the tumbler already since I use a decent amount of epoxy to apply my glitter with. And make sure you get your edges and bottoms really well. I like to kind of rub it in there really good just so the epoxy gets in between all the cracks and crevices, but not so thick that we're going to cause lumps and bumps. And we are doing the same thing with the second tumbler, just adding a layer of epoxy, covering that glitter really well. and then we are going to smooth it out from bottom to top. This also helps get rid of any excess epoxy that may be on there. And once our epoxy is on, we are going to take our torch and pop all of those bubbles. Again, I will move my torch back and forth fairly quickly for one rotation. That way I'm sure that as many bubbles are popped as can be. And we're doing the same thing to the second tumbler. So now that that layer of epoxy is cured, I sanded out any little rough spots that may be on the tumblers. I sanded the rims really well. If you have not seen how I have done that, I will link that video now so you guys can check that out. But we are ready to apply our power wash. So we're going to need our Dawn power wash spray and we are just using a regular white matte spray paint. We will also need a bucket of water. So when you are doing this method, keep in mind that wherever you spray your Dawn Power Wash, the spray paint will not touch. It is pretty much like a crayon resist painting, <laughs> if you guys have done those before. So this is how the Power Wash comes out. I just wanted to show you guys, and we are just going to spray it on our tumbler. So I am just doing light spritzes all over the cup. You do have to work kind of quickly with this. And once you have your power wash on your tumbler, we are going to take our white spray paint and just spray the entire tumbler. And don't forget your bottoms as well. You definitely want the bottoms to have that same effect. And then we're going to take our water and just pour it over the tumbler. And there you go. So any spots that had the power wash is where the glitter is going to shine through. 
and I love how this tumbler turned out. I love the contrast of the bright neon colors against the white spray paint. I think it looks super cool. So for our second tumbler, I decided to add a little bit more power wash to this one so that I had a little bit more glitter showing through. This tumbler, even though it was spray painted with the same neon colors, because we used only one glitter, it muted those neon spray paint colors. So I didn't want the color to be too light after I applied the power wash. So I wanted more of that glitter showing through. So the same steps, spray your power wash, spray your spray paint, wash off the power wash and spray paint and then you'll be left with a glitter peekaboo power wash so you guys can see that this one definitely has more glitter shining through which is the look i was going for and if you do need to fix a spot you can wait until this cup dries and then reapply the power wash if need be so once these cups are dry, we are ready to apply our vinyl. You can epoxy again if you want to. You can spray a gloss spray on top if you want. Um, I think that I epoxied these. I cannot remember. Sometimes I do it um, both ways. But I don't know. This one looks like it may have a sanded spot, so I may have just washed it really well to get all the soap off <laughs> so these are just some decals that i made the salty vibes one is hand lettered i am going to get it up on the drunkflamingo.com if any of you guys are interested in it and if you guys watch my tutorials you know i like using transfer tape that has lines on it that way I can make sure my decal is really straight and it will be straight on my cup when I go to apply it and for these decals I decided just to use regular gold vinyl I didn't want anything that was going to stand out a whole lot I just wanted them to kind of blend in with the cut but still be there. I really wanted the glitter and power wash to be the showstopper of this cup instead of a large decal. So I will typically line up my transfer tape with the top rim of the tumbler and smooth it down in the middle and then smooth one side down and then the opposite side down. And I will press it down really, really well while the transfer tape is still on there. and then peel it off slowly. Make sure everything is smoothed down so that it can start to form that bond to the tumbler. And then we are going to apply our second decal.
So again, we are just lining this decal up with the top rim. I slid it down slightly just because I did not want the decal that high. And we are going to smooth out one side and then smooth out the other. And once these decals sit for a little bit, I will put it back on my turner for the final layer of epoxy. And that is pretty much it for these cups. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and have fun creating your own version of these fun, bright colored neon beach tumblers. I did decide to add this little sun to the back of one of my cups just to give it a little something else um so yeah you guys can have fun with this add whatever you want to i think the power wash tumblers are always something fun to do so if you do create one of these please be sure to post it in my tutorial group so i can see you guys' creations i always love seeing things that you guys come up with from tutorials that i may put out there And there we go. Now they are ready for epoxy. And here are some finished pictures for you guys. I love how they turned out. I love um, how you can get a different look just by switching one thing, which is multiple glitter versus one glitter. And I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys enjoyed this video or learned something new, please be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to catch the next video coming up that was picked just for you. As always, if you're looking for more tips, tricks, and tutorials, be sure to check out my tutorial group on Facebook or my new patron group. Both are linked in the description. Thanks for watching.